Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Okami HD on the PlayStation Network. Uh, last time, we started off the Suta Ruins and discovered the source of the pollution for the water, and we purified it, and now we can go in the water without getting ourselves killed. So now we're happy doggies because we can take swims and baths, and we don't have to lick ourselves as much. So now, we're just going to continue through the area and hopefully, hopefully finish the area. You know, just because that's what we try to do. Anyways, now that we've destroyed the urns, or whatever those things, urn statues, or whatever they are that are poisoning the water, we can go into this little river right here. And that'll take us back to the main area. And this right here, if we go in here and try not to drown, Takes us to what looks like a dead end, but it's actually a bum wall. And in this bud right here, we get stray bead number 19, I do believe. Thank you very much. You're too kind. So, that's two out of three for this area. We're collecting everything pretty nicely in here. Alright, but anyways, our goal right now is just to make it back nice and safe like to the to the main room. Without drowning, hopefully. And we can collect all the treasures that are on the little islands of the lake. Now that we are not poisoned by them. Okay, uh let's see, let's start. Oh crap. I thought that being in the air would make me undrowned. Yeah, let's go this way. Because that'll take us closer to land faster. And less drowning is always better for my health than more drowning, you know. Okay, we can go in there. But let's just go get some of the treasures that are located on the little islands here. I don't think there's a whole lot, but there are a few. Like... this one right here. Another nice little five praise. We probably could have got this one earlier. If it was here. I don't remember if it was here, actually. An exorcism slip S, so nothing great, but it's there. And yeah, that's the last island that I remember. If you want to swim around and see for yourself that there's no more islands, then feel free, but I don't think there are anymore. I'm 99.97% sure that there aren't. Alright, but anyways, we need to head into the glowing light. Forget what your doctor said. Head into the light. Don't ignore the light. The light is good for you. Uh, unless you're a member of the Young Justice team, then the light's probably bad for you. Good show. I hope they don't actually like cancel it like they're planning to, because if they do, then Cartoon Network is a bunch of morons. Because they have a bad habit of canceling all the good shows and keeping all the keeping all the crap on. So yeah. Anyways, now that we're in here, let's just clean up some of these cursed areas. Thank you very much. Hey look, there's our there's our ink pot right there. Or never mind, I thought it was 220. No, I keep getting the previous amounts confused with the new amounts. Why? I'm not particularly sure. It's just something I something I do, I guess. That's the last of them. No, there's three of them. Okay. But, anyways, once we fill up the third and. Well, if I get to it. 
Once we clear up this third and final patch of not happy grass, then we get our new ability. I don't know why I was thinking it was the other place, but oh well. The important thing is that we did it again. And now, that makes the entire area be all pretty. And the flowers floating like a helicopter. Except those have been outside for like forever now, so I don't know why I'm actually surprised. I don't know, it's just weird seeing a flower floating. Um, looks like somebody doing the splits with the... Uh, something. Ah, it's a monkey doing the splits with a pair of symbols. And this right here is our final uh, monkey trio god. Uh, I forget his name. But yeah, this is funny, watch. He has to run all the way back there to find his little symbol. Good monkey. Sutagami, there we go. Okay, this is the final of the uh, of the uh, Green Sprout trilogy. Or Triumvirate, or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, for helping him out, we get our new ability, and it's going to be called Vine. And you may, you may be thinking, Vine, that sounds pretty cool, we can use it to rope up enemies in battle, right? Not quite. The flower of the gods, huh? But yeah, um, instead of using it to tangle up enemies in battle, you draw it from flowers to yourself, and then you get a little ride to the flower. It, it, it does have some uses in battle, but nothing as cool as using it as like your own little bondage rope. So yeah, if you see any blo if you see any blossoms like these right here, and they're open, then you can draw a line from the blossom to Amaterasu, and that will and that will enable you to teleport to that particular flower or whatever. So let's skip it. Let's skip that one down there and go to a higher one. You don't have to go in order because you you can go you can go really far distances as long as the flower is open. So. If it decides to work, I think I think that one didn't work because I tried to connect it twice. Oh yeah, and again, um, the way to tell that it's working is that it'll have a green dot when you hit the flower, and then it'll have a green dot once again when you hit Amaterasu. So that's how you can tell if your brush is on the right spot. If you start to draw and there is no green spot, then you need to cancel out of the screen and try again because otherwise you will just not be connected basically. I don't think there's anything else in here. Nope. And let me see if I can see something here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I was gonna... I guess it's not gonna show it to me, is it? If, anyways, I was, what I was going to say is if you ever see flowers like this that um, are closed, like a bud, then you can't connect to those flowers. They're either too far away or they're too far away. So, yeah, you just can't connect to them if they're not open, basically. And this one right here 
or these two right here is basically if you need to go down and save that save point down there which you really shouldn't so just kind of ignore them but um, I will let you guys know that there is a boss coming up in the near future like the near like five minute future here so if you do need to save then now is probably your your chance to save so feel free wait actually there might be an origin mirror up here I don't remember it's been a while since I've been up here I mean I have beat the game recently like not even a few months ago recently like December recently and this is February but this is kind of towards the beginning of the game so I don't remember everything exactly as you can tell from just my general not remembering everything is and I'm here but yeah with this uh with this vine power we have we can now reach uh, places that are out of reach in Kamiki Village and several other places. Um, let's see. Notice how that one is upside down. What that what that means is when you when you go to it, instead of landing in the little flower pot right there, you're just gonna it's just gonna drop you down on the surface below it. Um, okay, and this is an example of what uh, you're gonna be required to do uh, several times throughout the game when you see the flowers and various uh, hook like objects just draw a line from the flower to the hook and it'll connect it's pretty simple I don't think you can draw from the same flower to yet yeah, you can't draw from the same flower to different hooks so but if you wanted to you could you don't have to draw like to the one directly next to it. you can you can like extend them a little further if you want there's no real reason to, it's just if you feel finicky or whatever, then you can. But once you lift all four hooks, then it lifts up the little turtle top shell thingy. Which is pretty cool actually, in my opinion. But let me see, let me see. Um I'm trying to think if I forgot anything before we actually go in here. Uh let's see, let's see. Actually, I did remember something. Okay, let's go do this real quick. Because we can come back here and that, that'll still be like that. So, yeah, see, like, we can't we can't go to that Kona Hot Blossom because it is too far down. So. Let's see. Can I find a blossom here to get to? No? I guess not. Anyway, this is just going to be a quick little detour, and then we can go fight the boss. Come on. Jump, jump, jump. There we go, doggy. Alright. Remember that room where we had to push that ball earlier? If we go back there now, there's uh, something we can do in there. got to get to it first. Damn it. Let me see. There it is. Yeah, see, there's a flower right there that we can jump to. And then while we're up here, we can... Well, we can jump off this, if we ever jump off it. We can go up here. And there's going to be a straight beat in here. Straight beat number 20. Our final straight beat for this area, if I can get the damn butt open. There we go. Thank you very much. I don't think there's any other treasures up here. Even though there is... Uh, I think a little bit more to the path. Oh, there's a clover up here. What do you know? It's a good thing I decided to check. Okay. 
Come on. We bloom. Alright, and there's our ink upgrade. Now there's one more area I want to go to real quick. Because there was something we haven't got yet, I don't think. If we have, then... And we have, but I don't think we did. Or... Will you kill the statues? There we go. Yeah, in this first room with the mushrooms, I don't think we were ever able to get up there. So let's see if we can't get up there real quick. Because as you can see, there's a clover up there. Let me see. See, we can see a path back there. We just haven't been able to reach it yet. I think there was a wall we had to blow up, and I might have just forgot to blow it up. Um, what was in here, anyways? Oh, we never went into this room. There was just a bud. Oops. Nothing too particularly important in this one. I think it's just, uh, yeah, it's just an exorcism slip. Or a venue slip. Eh. Same general difference. They both use in battle. They both help you win the game. Neither one is a stray bead. Neither one is a sun fragment. Neither one's a new weapon. All right. Um. Trying to remember where you had to blow up to get to that. To get to that passageway right there. Oh, I guess it was just this right here. Well, there we go. You? Why do you refuse the bloom? There we go. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think you can do anything over here. I think that was the last of the. Yeah, that was the last of the hidden stuff, pretty much in here. So now we can go back to the boss room, and we can, or not the boss room, but the main chamber, and then we can um, take care of the boss. But you know what? Let's go up here because this is probably a slightly quicker way than running back through there. Because this way we can just go to that bridge that collapsed and we can just fall down from the bridge. You can go either way. I mean, either way you're going to make it back to where you're going. We run. There we go. Saved us all about, saved us all five seconds there. Except I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? So that time that we saved is not time that we saved at all. Because my sense of direction is nowhere near as good as that of a compass. I never really use the maps in this game all that much. I mean, I, I, I do complain sometimes in games when there's not a map available to use. And then half the time when there is a map available to use, I never actually use the damn thing. Like... I'm complaining in my Banjo Tui Let's Play that there's not a map for like an underwater level, and then even if there was a map for that level, I probably would hardly ever use it just because I would probably forget all the time. Oh well. If you're really quick or just like really impatient, you don't even have to land on the next on the flower to get to the next one just keep on going to midair and you're good to go if if you can see the next flower uh, let's see where's the next flower there it is sometimes that draw distance gets you well I saw it where to go what the heck And there we go. Let's head in here, and we can finally kill a whole bunch of statues. Holy crap, that's a lot of statues. Let's see if we can't get them all at once. Probably not, but you know what? I'm always willing to try. You know what? Back up a little bit. We may not be able to get all of the bastards, but we'll be able to get 
a very fair amount, that's for sure. Holy, there we go. Okay, seriously, how am I gonna how am I gonna get all those at once and then miss three? Ah, irritating. By the way, something I was going to point out later, but I might as well point it now. Um, okay, if you look at the save screen right here down at the bottom, you'll see that there's the animals of the Zodiac that we've gotten, uh, not including multiples like three monkeys, there's only one monkey. Um, you can see there's a rat, a dragon, a monkey, a wolf, and a pig. Um, and you'll notice that they're placed down there, not in the order that we got them. And for the longest time, I could not figure out the seemingly random placement of some animals before other animals. Like, for example, we got uh, the dragon before the mouse, but the dragon is second. Uh, we got the wolf way before the monkey, but the, the wolf is like third or fourth, but the monkey's third. And yeah, so that confused me for a long time until I finally realized that um, the order that they're placed in is the order that the uh, is the order that the animals in the Chinese Zodiac um, are placed. Because, if I haven't mentioned it before, the the gods in this game are all based off the Chinese Zodiac with a few like minor variations. Like, um, Amaterasu, the wolf, is actually just taking the place of the dog. So, yeah. Um, it took me a long time to figure that out, and I didn't figure it out myself. I saw it in like a, uh, in, like, a little trivia fact. So, yeah, that's that irritated me for a while. I was always like, why the heck are these guys in different orders than the order that I got them? And I was trying to figure out ways to, like, rearrange them and, and never figured it out. It just, I don't know, just irritated me for the longest time. And let's see. Okay, that was a scroll explaining Godhood. String attacks into combos to increase your level of Godhood. Creates a barrier that deflects enemies' attack. Yeah, running for battle like a coward or die in water or a curse zone will result in your godhood being reduced to a skull symbol. So yeah, it's easy susceptible to attack. So yeah, so yeah, if you want to escape from battle, feel free, but that will cause your godhood to say goodbye. But then again, if you have stuff like um, Traveler's Charms or or the one that increases your godhood all the way to the maximum level, then you don't have to worry about it, really. Okay, when I tried to leave the area earlier to go back for that straight beat, you told me, no, we can't leave here without doing whatever it is we gotta do, and now you're telling me you don't want to go in there? Will you make up your mind? Okay, this right here as Isten will explain momentarily. A golden gate. This is like a temporary save file. So that means you don't gotta start at the save mirror like whole six feet back there. Yeah, so if you turn off the game, it kinda deletes itself. So yeah, if you use the save point, it'll be deleted again. So basically it's, uh, it's basically like a uh, Saving you a whole like ten seconds from walking from the from the save point over here, so it's mildly useful, but it usually appears right after a save point. So I don't know, it's there, I guess, but I don't know. Oh, that's a great view right there, game. Fantastic view, actually. <laughs> Way to not get up and just sit there. Now, what the heck is that thing? Eyeballs on sticks? Oh, 
Okay, so what kind of treasure does this thing have? It has a dog. That's uh, probably the dog we came in here for, isn't it? Why are you sleeping in a giant eyeball stock? Apparently cannibalistic flower. I'm not entirely sure, but maybe it's comfortable down there. I don't know. And here we got Matrix Amaterasu. Very good, very good. He just saved your life, you weenie. Wait, doesn't the uh, Orochi guy, the snake, doesn't he have eight heads? So maybe this guy is behind this guy? Alright, and here comes another boss battle. This guy right here, if we ever started, the Spider Queen. For some reason I thought it would start at the battle already, that's why I was starting my description of it, but I guess not. I see Amaterasu is just uh, not impressed. Okay, it's not on your menu, but you got that other dog, like, hanging in your little area. Yeah, see? What he said. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand here. You can kill me. How's that sound? I'll be ever so obliging to you. But anyways, this here is the Spider Queen, and she's pretty easy. Um, all you gotta do is, you see those hooks on her back? You see those flowers right there? This is pretty much the uh, one of the extents of using Vine in battle. Grab the flower, drag it to a hook, and then you gotta drag a few more flowers to the hooks. So. For this one, you only got to do two, and then you attack her eyeballs if you can get up there. If you want to use one of your exorcism slips, feel free because that will make it a little bit faster. See? Look at that nice little chunk of damage. Or you can just power slash them all. We're actually going to be fighting this boss several times throughout the game, so get used to it. it this is a very recycled boss throughout the game. And every time she's just as easy as last time. So, yeah, we're going to be fighting this thing a lot. Let's see if I can't find another flower. There we go. And yeah, this is a rather pathetic boss fight, in my opinion, but I guess if you have to do what you have to do. I guess you could use uh, cherry bombs, but I've never actually tried it. You know what? Give me my exorcism slip. We might as well use those. Those are doing a good amount of damage. And one more, just because we have it. Yeah, I'm here. You're almost dead. And what do you know? A very easy boss fight. Even without the exorcism slips, it wouldn't have taken all that long. And when she dies, she turns into a much better looking flower. With a dog on a pedestal thing in her middle of her butt.
Alright, and there we got the Snarling Beast Reflector, and that's a nice little upgrade to your to your um, original reflector. And as you notice there, it said it had ink blood power. We'll go over that later, but it's a pretty neat little feature that some weapons have. Possibly, you know, since there's no other dogs we've encountered in here. Ah, uh, that's a beautiful voice. That's a beautiful voice you got there. You should be on American Idol, or Nippon Idol, or should you feel Idol? Hey, we did pretty good. Well, if we, if we hadn't got caught in that uh that butt attack of hers earlier then we probably would have got a full perfect score on that and we got our trophy big old flower for defeating the spider queen not too shabby for a day's work What are you calling bad? I just rescued your dog. Dog. Way to be gentle there, guy. Okay, so you're not happy to see your master? You're kind of irritated? Yeah, how the heck did he get all the way up there if the little spider queen chick, like, didn't seem to leave her room? I'm not really sure how that happened. Maybe you tried to go up there by yourself and failed miserably in the process? Okay, now why would you do that? Well, except for... Well, never mind. I'm not gonna say that. I still don't get why the dad can't go fix the bridge himself, but oh well. Hey, look, his fishing pole. Or, well, he already had a fishing pole. And where the heck was he hiding that thing? Ah, uh, that's very nice. He's all recovered and stuff. But anyways, let's check out our new piece of equipment. The Snarling Beast. Yeah, let's go ahead and 
put that as the main and our rosaries as the second. And we still have that extra gold dust so we can now power up our, our item with. So, let's see if we can't find an enemy and I'll show you off, I'll show off the ink bullet power that it said it had. Alright, here we go. This is perfect. Alright, when an item has an ink bullet power, what you gotta do is just go into your, uh, your brush screen and then go over an enemy and then just lightly tap the attack button over it and then let go. And that'll cause a nice little chunk of uh, damage right there. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool attack. Um, I think there is a limit to how much you can do and obviously the more you the more that you press the button the more ink it's going to take out so it could cause you to run out of ink I'm not sure if it works with the heavy attack button let's see oh excuse me I guess it does I don't think it changes the damage at all but Okay, we're going to try this again. This time, not fail. Alright, and just for the heck of it, I'm going to use my turbo controller and see if we can't, uh... See just how much we can get here. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, shoot. Um... There we go. Okay, did it work? Um, I'm going to try that again, and I'm taking a lot of damage just trying to show this thing off here. Um, it would help if you were out of the, like, the ground, but I guess not. Alright, let's try one more time, and if that doesn't work, then too bad, so sad. See, I took off three, ink, three units of ink, but if we had, if he had actually, like, been out of the ground, then that would have done a lot better. It works a lot better on enemies, I guess, that aren't in the ground and trying to screw you over like that. I mean, it's a very useful ability. Even without a turbo controller, because I usually don't. I, I mean, I, I'll be honest, I don't usually use the turbo function all that much in, like, this type of game, but it's just, I, I don't know why I got a turbo controller. I just did. But yeah, um, it's good for a lot of enemies if you, let's say you just have, like, a random imp you want to get, and you don't, you're, you don't have your rosary equipped or something, and you just want to kill them real quick without dashing up to them, then you can just ink, 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 and you can kill them, so. Uh, the only problem is, uh, for a, for a, um, for a ink bullet power to be used, the weapon that it has it must be equipped in the primary slot. So just be careful of that. If you have if you have the snarling beast equipped in your secondary slot as opposed to your primary slot, then you won't be able to use it. So just be careful of that. Otherwise, you'll try to use it, and suddenly you'll be like, "Hey, where's my ink bullet?" Yeah, see, it's not doing anything here. So yeah, if you want to use it, it needs to be on your your primary weapon. And you know what? Let me try something here. I'm going to try that turbo function one more time here. This time with, a uh, This guy in the air. See how much damage it does to this guy. Holy crap, look at that. Now that's a nice little chunk of damage. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? I think it's nice. Oh, that's the wrong one. And I guess it, I guess if you just do one attack, I guess that still counts as a uh, as an ink bullet. I thought it, I thought you had to do like three or four, but huh, I guess you learn something new every day. But anyways, we cleared off uh, Suta ruins and rescued Ume. And now, uh, what's his face is gonna go save the bridge from being destroyed. So I guess we'll go follow after him next time. So there's also a few things we can do in the forest now that we have the vine ability. But like I said, we're gonna take care of all that stuff next time. So guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.